Joining us now in an exclusive interview is Ligand CEO John Higgins. John, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. T Thank tell you. us a little bit about how, how you're involved with this drug that everyone in the world is watching. Thank you. Happy to be here. There is a lot of attention, obviously, around the coronavirus and uh, COVID-19, the developing story. Ligand is a company that provides um, uh, technology, uh, drug discovery technologies, and ingredients to help make drugs possible. Uh, we have one particular uh, excipient called Captasol that helps stabilize or solubilize drugs. Many drug concepts are very good concepts, but the active ingredient isn't stable or it's insoluble, it's not available for absorption by, by the human body. In this case, with remdesivir, it's a broad-acting antiviral that is highly insoluble. Uh, tremendous efficacy, there's animal data uh, across a variety of uh, viral targets, some uh, limited human data, but it's insoluble. So in this case, uh, Gilead and now some other uh, partners have contacted us. They're seeking supply of Captasol to help make their drug possible. Uh, this really just came on our radar uh, the last six weeks or so. We've had extensive conversations, and now, uh, per our announcement yesterday, we have, we've uh, realized some substantial orders to help service these partners as they build up capacity to run their clinical trials. And, John, how significant have these orders been so far, and how much more significant could they be if remdesivir gets approved and used to treat coronavirus? The, uh, the announcement yesterday, we indicated that we've seen an additional 5 million of orders. Uh, that's several metric tons of quantity. And, um, and this is, we believe, just, just the beginning. Now, to put it in context, uh, our annual sales for Captasol across 70 different partners the last few years has been about 25 to 30 million annually. So just in the last couple of weeks, a couple of orders have come in for $5 million alone for this one uh, uh, antiviral agent for this particular uh, market. Now, we're still in clinical development. Uh, data won't be out for a few weeks. People are saying uh, probably into April. Uh, these are still clinical trials. The Chinese government is running trials. The U.S. government, the NIH, is now running uh, studies out of Nebraska. And, um, and Gilead just yesterday announced that they are opening up two 1,000 patient trials. So these initial stockpiling orders are really to prepare the clinical supply, but now we are in dialogue. We know that there's interest for more Captasol. We do anticipate additional orders this year to help supply not only more clinical trials, but potentially preparation for uh, broader use as a therapeutic to treat more severe patients with coronavirus. What, what kind of time frame are you looking at? What's your expectation? Well, with, with drug development, and first, I, I want to be clear, remdesivir, it's not our uh, drug. We, we didn't invent the drug. Right. It's not our drug, and we aren't running the trials. We are going to comment on, on the outcome of those studies. But uh, Ligand is prepared. We have substantial capacity. We manufacture out of multiple uh, sites. Uh, we have a very stable source of supply of raw materials uh, from markets that we do not feel threatened uh, for uh, distribution or trade disruption. And, uh, and we are preparing now uh, a potential quantity for delivery to partners that uh, could be uh, substantial, well, well beyond what we've announced just uh, yesterday. But again, it's a watch and wait mode. We, we really need to wait to see if there's clear clinical activity, safety and efficacy for this drug as a treatment, uh, and we'll get that data probably in the next uh, three to six weeks or so.